we're going to start this Python tutorial just with a new folder and uh, create a Python files folder and then within that folder I'm going to create a new text document and uh, in this case it's going to be Python intro and I'm going to change the extension to .py I'm going to ask you if you want to change it, go ahead and select yes then I'm going to edit with IDLE uh, the editor and uh, just do a print uh, hello world um, and we'll just go ahead and run this script just to see what it produces. Okay, so when I run module, I see the hello world uh, printed out. Now we're going to go through uh, Python here. Comments are hash signs. I'm going to import a NumPy package. That's um, you know matrix and data analysis. I'm going to rename it as NP just to shorten the typing later. I'm going to type that a couple times. If you want to get help on a particular function, you can also do help with parentheses uh, and then the name of that function. Um, so in this case, I'm going to do help on NumPy random, or you can do help on max function. Okay, now I'm going to create a new named variable, b equals 0.5, and then generate a 10 by 4 matrix of random numbers. So matrix m is going to be equal to numpy.random.randomsample, 10 by 4 matrix. Okay, now I want to be able to display a variable. I can use the print function. I'm going to just display the matrix m. I'm going to compute the average for each column now. Um, I'm just going to use the mean function. Now you got to put the comma zero in there just to iterate over the columns. And then also the standard deviation. And also don't forget to put the comma zero there. Okay, now I'm going to be able to compute a max and min values for each column as well. And that's just going to be dot max and dot min for those. Uh, fairly straightforward. Now if you want to get the average over all the data, you just leave off the comma zero. I'm going to assign that to AVG for in this case. Here's an example of an if statement in Python. And so we're just going to see if this average is greater than 0.5, equal to 0.5, or less than 0.5. And we're going to print out different things based on uh, what we have for our average value. Okay, so uh, don't forget the colon at the end of each of those. Um, you can use ELIF for else if. Okay, now let's go on to a for loop. Uh, you know, these are just basic constructs. Within Python, I'm going to go from i range 1 to 11. It doesn't actually include 11, it goes up to 10 in this case. And then I'm going to print the i sum. Let's create a function now within Python. We're going to define a function, and uh, this is going to be just def uh, my function x, that's going to be your input, and we're just going to add 2 to it, and then we're going to return our y value. Okay, so this is an example of a very basic function. You have to import it for now, so you use from my function import uh, asterisk, and then now you can use that function. Now I'm going to just use I put i sum in, and the result is going to be 2 greater than that. Okay, now we want to be able to also create a trend of the first data column that we generated in the 10 by 4 matrix. Uh, we're going to use the pi plot, just rename it as PLT, and then plot that. Okay, so we're going to show it as the final uh, command. Okay, now we go ahead and run this. You can also use F5 to run it, and there you can see the results. Now uh, you have a figure, and the figure uh, is won't let you continue until you close that figure. As so I go to debugger, it's going to give me the error. You can only um, use this when idle. Okay, so we have uh, had to close that out. Now what we're going to do now is uh, go ahead and start the debugger. Okay, so the debugger is now uh, going, and then when we run it, uh, the debugger is going to be on, and it's going to allow us to step through uh, the code in debug mode. Okay, so now it's running the module. And then I'm just going to hit click over. If you step, um, you're going to step into the functions. And that can actually take quite a while to, to run. OK, so you can see the different statements as they're computed. And you can see some more information at the bottom. OK, so it's just going to step through um, this and, and also create the plot. OK, so uh, that is the debugger. Um, Visit APMonitor.com for additional information.